Imagine stopping the world's most aggressive cancers, not by chemotherapy, not by mutations, but by quietly disrupting just 0.05% of how a cell functions. Welcome to Pure Science, I am Soumya Pillai and today we are unpacking a fascinating new discovery by scientists in Australia that could lead to a powerful new cancer treatment and it all starts with something most of us might not have heard before, minor splicing. Let us start with some basics. Inside our cells we have genes which are stretches of DNA that carry the instructions to make proteins. But before these instructions can be used, they go through an editing process called RNA splicing. Think of this process like film editing. It is like trimming a raw video into a clean, usable final cut. Now most of this editing work, which is over 99% of it, is handled by what is called the major spliceosome. It is the editing powerhouse. But there's also a minor spliceosome and it's responsible for a tiny slice of genetic processing, just about 0.05%. For decades, scientists saw this minor spliceosome as well, minor. But recently, researchers at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute or WEHI have shown that this small system may be the Achilles heel of many aggressive cancers. Here's how it works. The minor spliceosome helps process a special group of genes, only around 700 out of 2000 in our genome. But many of those 700 genes are absolutely critical for how cells grow and divide. And that is where it gets interesting. Because cancer at its core is uncontrolled growth. Especially in aggressive cancers, like those in liver, stomach and lungs, cells are dividing at breakneck speed. In these cancers, especially the ones driven by KRAS mutations, which are among the most common and the hardest to treat, the cells depend heavily on the minor splicing system to survive. So what happens when scientists interfere with that system? The cancer cells can't cope. They start to accumulate DNA damage, they lose control over growth and ultimately many of them self-destruct. In lab experiments and in animal models, blocking minor splicing led to dramatic slowdowns in tumour growth. And here's the most promising part. Healthy cells were mostly unaffected. And that is huge. Because one of the biggest challenges in cancer therapy is selectivity. It finds a way to target cancer cells without harming normal tissues as opposed to traditional chemotherapy, which as we know can be brutal because it affects the whole body. But this new approach, it is like cutting off the fuel supply to cancer cells without touching the engine in healthy cells. Professor Joan Heath, the lead researcher of this study said that the KRAS mutation come in many flavors which makes them hard to treat directly. But by targeting something all these cancer cells rely on, like minor splicing, researchers may have found a way to bring them down from the inside. Come to think of it, it is a clever strategy. Instead of chasing cancer's many mutations, scientists here decided to go after a common dependency. The team's findings were recently published in the EMBO reports and while this is still early stage research, it opens the door to developing drugs that can safely block minor splicing in cancer patients. Of course, there's a lot of work ahead, including developing safe inhibitors, clinical trials, and understanding how different cancer types respond. But the potential is massive. It's not a cure, not yet, but it is a powerful clue one that could lead to smarter, more precise treatments with fewer side effects. This study is also significant because it has prompted a shift in how we think about cancer therapy. This study is also significant because it has prompted a shift in how we think about cancer therapy, about targeting the hidden vulnerabilities in how cancer operates and not just how it looks like genetically. 
This was all from me. I am Soumya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science.